video, we are in going to introduce you to the ELK based analytics solution which we have released with the Micro Integrator 420. My name is Sanoshi Jaisundar. Currently, I work as an associate tech lead at WSO2 API Manager team. With this solution, we are providing a comprehensive way to analyze your integration flow that you have deployed on top of the micro, micro integrator. This can be used to monitor the health of the components deployed on the MI and analyze the usage pattern of each artifact including the performance and availability. With each invocation of the following components, we'll generate an analytics event which will be later used to calculate the analytics insights. This solution consists of five components including micro integrator, file beats, log stash, elastic search and kibana. The micro integrator will be writing the analytics data into a log file which will be read by the file beats and published into the log stash. So from the log stash we have defined a JROC parser which we use to pre-process the analytics data. Then we publish the pre-processed data into the Elasticsearch where we index those data for later use. The Kibana has been used to present the analytics data which we have saved on the Elasticsearch. In order to do that, we have created widgets and dashboards to present the data. Now I will walk you through the files that we have to do the configurations and show you a brief uh, demonstration about the widgets and the dashboards which are there in the Kibana side. So we have to do configurations for five components. So from the micro integrator side, uh, you have to do configuration in two files. The first configuration is related to the enabling analytics for the micro integrator components. So to do that, we have to enable that via the deployment to my file. After we enabling the analytics publishing. So we have to configure the log4j2 property file to publish those analytics data into a separate log file rather publishing into the default WS2 carbon log file. So that configuration has to be done to the log4j2 properties. Then from the file bits, we have to enable reading that micro integrator analytics log file from the file bit configuration. And then we from the file beats end, we have to configure that to publish that data into the log stash node. Moving on to the log stash, we have to uh, configure the log stash to pre-process the data that we have published through the file beats. So there, there we have defined a GROC parser which will pass the raw event that came from the file beats and then publish that into the Elastic search node. From the Kibana UI, we have the capability to import the resource file that we have shipped with the solution. So after importing it, it will contain these components. So here we have six data views and six dashboards. So dashboards consist with five dashboards for each component type and a one dashboard which has the overall data of all the components. When it comes to data view, we have five data views for each component type and a one data view which contain all the analytics data related to all the components. When it comes to the dashboard, the MI overall dashboards contain all the rec analytics records related to all the components. And for each component dashboard, they have their own view of the analytics data related to their components. Like in this API dashboard, it shows all the data related to the APIs which are deployed in the micro integrator. Likewise, this is, this is there for all the other types of MI components. As an example, for the proxy services, we have total request count, the fault responses, and average latency like 
analytics data in their dashboard and we have the capability to filter those components by their name if you need to know more about this you can go to this link and have a look at our official documentation related to this feature. This will conclude the session related to the ELK analytics solution for micro integrator. Thank you.